even though I'm getting much melee against a level five cheetah, that's really nothing though. It's like I'm really just trying to, clear, trying to get the hang of the game again because I ain't played in a little bit. It's been like a couple of days. Yeah, Tross is almost level to five. That's not bad either. Like I'm not really too worried about his level because Supergirl's at level twenty, Scarecrow's at level twenty, Batman's at level twenty, Joker's at level twenty. But I'm trying to get everybody to level twenty. Like that's the mission right now. And really learning how to play with them, learning the the ins and outs, like basic combos. Like this juggle is actually pretty nice. Okay, Shang Sun, I see you. I see you, Shang Sun. There we go. There we go. Atrocities uh, don't even really need to be in the air that much, except for that air setup. But other than that, combo. But I mean, Atrocities is actually interesting when he first came out, but he's not one of my like I go to to play with. Not because I haven't learned him anything. It's it's because I'm still trying to figure out everybody who's my main. And right now, my main is Scarecrow and Supergirl. Well, Power Girl, let me say that because Power Girl is broken. She's a basic broken character to me. I'm not gonna win this clash. I'm not gonna even lie to you. I could have gave him the one bar, but I was like, what's the point of giving him the one bar? Deck Star, come out. That's fine. I'll take that. Kitty got bang. Kitty got bang. Kitty got bang. And me the burst to win. That's really all you need to do sometimes with Atrocitus. Come on. Now, I love Injustice, but the first month and a half, they gave me the runaround. And you're probably wondering, what does he mean by the runaround? Simple. Injustice 2 would reset some of my character levels back down. Like, it took me longer to get power girl level 20 it took me longer like wonder woman she was at level 17 she has level 17 gear and she's at level 12 hopefully they fix that because if they did i would be still hurt because my joker was supposed to be my joker was supposed to be the second character i had level 20 like i have videos that i'm gonna put up later up of scarecrow getting molly by level 20 bane and this is when i first started playing the game like but Okay, Poison Ivy, playing like Quan Chi, I see you. Come on, get him. Oh, I did not get him where I want. Well, her, well. So, when I'm talking real about injustice, I ain't gonna lie. You might hear some words. You might hear some phrases. Like, like, and then, god dang it, Atro Atrocity is a little bit slow with the pullback, but... That's neither here nor there, me personally. Poison Ivy trying to give me that runaround game, like, god dang Spike. Now, you might be asking, who the heck is Spike? A little plant that she has on the side of her. Like, I call him Spike, personally. Like, this is all just to get epic gears for Atrocitus. Nope, you tried it. And then I got the challenge for five jumps, too. Why you stop sending out Spike? Spike ain't gonna save you. Like, I feel like they ruined Poison Ivy by making her play like Quan Chi, but that's just me though. I feel. Got her. Oh, she blocked. That's cool. But I feel like Poison Ivy plays so much like Quan Chi, that's why I don't even have her above level 3 right now, honestly. Oh, at least I got Latrosa's level 5. Let's see if the game's gonna reset him back. Hopefully this new patch update that came out yesterday actually helps out with this play. I know it's not, but still, it's just the benefit of the doubt. <sighs> Who am I fighting next? Oh, Deadshot. A uh, Godshot. His name is Godshot. I feel like Deadshot. It's supposed to be Slade, but you can never replace Slade because at least he got his guns and sword. Deadshot just got the guns. Like, you try to give Slade the same challenge as Dez. I mean, Deadshot the same challenge as Slade. Let's be real here. Oh, I, see? I don't like his pullback, though. There we go. Like, me personally, I feel that 
even though Deadshot cool. Deadshot's nice now. Dexter on the block. Kitty on the block and it's hot. But no. I feel like when you replaced uh, a Slade for Deadshot, I was like, okay, Slade is dead in the story. Like, I get that completely. Ooh, did he get it? Nope, block. When, once you replaced uh, Deadshot, I mean, Slade in the storyline for Deadshot, I was like, okay, cool. But you basically made Slade characters, two characters. You made him Damian Wayne Robin. Let's be real, because Damian Wayne with the sword is pretty much Slade. And you made. Deadshot, the gun version of Slave. Because people know, once you start out with Slave, when the game first came out, you know Slade was really running shop until people found out about Sinestro. Let's be real. Let's be real in the streets. And at least I could say about this. Uh, oh, Flash. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is probably me talking. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm in just this one person, but Flash was way more maneuverable in one than he is in two. Like all the Flash's combos for two and Justice two set him up for, for multiples, and I'm fine with that. I have no issue. That's probably what made him a, a decent character. But me personally, I'm more of a Injustice One Flash. You give me Injustice One Flash, I'm running. I'm running all day. Now his special is the only. I ain't gonna lie, Flash special is live. God damn it! I was trying to get the trophy for the crocodile. Uh, oh, there we go. Get the kitty. Kitty go bang bang. Kitty go bang bang. Hashtag kitty go bang bang. Now. Ah, oh, Flash used the special. He got me. Askel accidentally press square. Now, Flash special is probably the liveest special from one end to personally. Because at least Flash, you know, changed up the special. But, like, actual gameplay wise, I wish they'd have kept him the same. Him and Catwoman. Cap now, maybe this is just me, and maybe this is. I should have said this in the first match I played against Cheetah. But I feel like. I feel like, personally. Cheetah plays like old Catwoman, and Catwoman plays like somebody else we've never seen before. Maybe that's just me. And Sinestro was a decent lander, but he could be cheap if you didn't know how to zone him out. But at least... Kitty, get him. Okay, cool. Trust is at level 5. And he has the strength to go on to the level 10 battles. That ain't too bad. I'm not too worried about that. Oh snap, I finished the hate challenge for Atrocitus. Okay. Of course, give me my gold. Give me my Atrocitus got arms. What's the challenge? Oh gold uh rare events. Rare things. Let me see if Atrocitus got all rares. Like I said, I don't play with them that much, so let me just find out now while I'm recording. I'm about to say. Oh yeah, he got all rares. We got Danny all epics. Yep, he got all epic, so Atrocitus is good right now. So, if I do a real talk with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite with the storyline, I'm not going to like what I got to say, because I'm going to be talking bad about the game. And this is for a person who's played every single version of Marvel vs. Capcom. Even X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Now, I understand Disney got the rights and everything to X-Men, so I'm like, I mean, I Disney. Uh, Fox had the rights to X Men. So you're not gonna add them to him. That's fine. The Wolverine, Magneto, Storm. Depending on the two, if you play two or not. Sentinel. Cyclops and Captain America could be on the team again. But, but no. Just those legacy characters alone made me play. And now, Infinite basically recycled. Infinite is basically a recycled Marvel's Capcom. I'm just gonna be real, like, Infinite is a recycled 3. Got the Clash, I mean, not the Clash, the Transition. Like, I might become the most hated person on YouTube right now, just for doing this video. But I feel, and I feel honestly, that Marvel's Capcom Infinite is a recycled 3. Which is a new storyline, and they brought back 2 YouTube. 
But if they really recycled it, where the fuck is Tron Bone? Back to this atrocious vein. Vein at level 20 is the disrespectful person. Like, Vein at level 20 is so disrespectful. Like, I just feel like. Venom is broken for him at level 20. But I'll take that. Thank God it's level 10 Bane. Here we go, Bane. Oh, you won the combo. Get him. Get him. Get him. So, back to my Mark versus Captain Infinite slander. Because, yes, I'm, I'm calling it as it is. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is a recycled Marvel vs. Capcom 3. No arguments there. You can't say, nah, you know, they've got a few new characters in. Oh, Brainiac, that's cool. But, nah, forget that. Let's just be real. Here. Let's keep it 100 to the streets. I grew up playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I probably spent over 99 hours on that game alone. Like the, to the point that the clock reset. Don't even have time no more. It just said 99, 99, 99. And you give me this crappy game. Like 3 was okay. Three, Vanilla 3 was okay. It was still bad, but I was like 10 years waiting. I can do, I did 10 years of waiting. Why not? And then Ultimate was like, why am I buying this? I just bought the collector's edition. I bet you not. I'm that person who sat at a GameStop, bought the collector's edition of this game, and next thing you know, they released another one, like 10 or 11 months later. Fuck out of here. And then you get, and then don't get me wrong, Frank West is probably one of my lovable characters. I love Frank West on Ultimate, but I have Shumagora and Jill. I spent that money, got the collector's edition with the black case. And now you're making Venom DLC. You know how long it's been I've been waiting for Venom and Ultimate? I stopped playing Ultimate because of this. And one of my friends, T Wright, like brother to me, showed me that Capcom recycled a lot of things. Like, there's no need for all these super versions or these ultimate versions. This ain't the 90s. But y'all don't want to hear about that. If y'all want to hear about that, put a like, you know, subscribe. Cause I'm probably gonna do a video at least every week or every new, you know, shit. Oh, he missed. Oh, he fucked up. Or, you know, every week or every time a new event comes out for a character because I'm trying to get Atrocitus up. I don't even play with Atrocitus that much. But back to what I was saying. I'm keeping 100 with y'all. We'll keep it 100 with y'all. I'm not going to buy Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Matter of fact, I moved that reserve at the Planet Storyline to DBZ Fighters. Because at least that looks interesting. Like, that looked like a better version of Guilty Gear. Like, DBZ meets Guilty Gear. And I'm cool with that. I am happy with that. Oh, shit. I'm skipped the Flash intro. My bad, Flash. We already saw you. Oh, Sky Blue Ass Flash. And, like... I'm cool with Ryu, you know, I'm cool with Chun Li in there. Evil Ryu is a DLC, that's cool. You know. Thor Old Sun as DLC, you know, that costume like uh after Avengers. Not after Avengers. I forgot what comic storyline that Thor costume from, but and Black Panther is DLC. Okay, Black Panther, new character. Cool. Cool. I'm not even tripping about that. I'll take that beating flash. Uh, Black Panther DLC. Oh shit, I'm still in the air. I'm still in the freaking air. I'll take this loss. Probably hit that reset button is you anyway, but. But. I'm not. It, it doesn't look interesting. Like, it's like you, you found the perfect way to kill a franchise. In one game, in three games. Okay, Flash, really, really, Flash, really. Hit that restart button. Okay. Run that back. There we go. Why you waste a good chair, Atrocitus? Tripping, dog. 
Uh oh, Flash coming with them combos. Flash coming with the combos again. Nice roll. What is that? 20? Nah, that's 12 hits. 11. I was off one. There you go. Don't waste a good toilet. There we go. But, I, back to what I was saying. I, I honestly, I'm just going to keep it real. I don't know if any other YouTubers are keeping it real, saying they might buy the game or whatnot. I'm not buying the game. Look, you have so, you have so many characters you could add into Marvel's Capcom Infinite. I'm cool with keeping Ryu and Chun-Li because they like, you know, they family. Like, you will open your house because you know you played every almost every game. But, Hagar, okay, Hagar is basically Zangief, let's be real. Uh, who else? I feel like Gamora's playing like Deadpool, which is fine, you know? We need a Deadpool in the game. How much meter I got? Oh, I can kill him in three. I can kill him in three. See, three to two? That ain't bad. God dang it, Flash. It's time to go, Kitty. Uh, how did you not keep the combo going? There we go. Burn him with the cat. Catastrophe. Alright, we got it right with this one. But no. Maybe I'm just ranting, you know. Maybe I'm just getting my Kanye West on, you know. Ranting about Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Because we know how much trash that's going to be. We know how trash that game is. But. I just feel that. It could be so much more. Like, it could be better. It could probably be one of the greatest fighting games out right now. When it comes out. But it's not. Let's just be real. It's going to look dry. Like X and Zero is probably the greatest thing they did to that game. Bring back Thanos is number two. You know. And get some other characters. Like very few characters some shine. That's cool. But. You make Captain Marvel play like Phoenix. I'm not even a Phoenix fan. When she first came out, I thought she was heat, but after that, I was like, eh. But and seeing all the miraculous things people do online, okay, cool. But now, it's like, why waste my time with Captain Marvel when she plays like Phoenix? No. That's your first mistake. Making other Marvel characters play like X Men. Stop it. Stop that shit. Alright, Dark Side, I see you. But, but, you got a sewer. You got at least Jetta. Let me say that Jetta is probably the other big bonus that we get in this game, which I appreciate. I'm appreciative of Jetta because Jetta is a dog stalker. Morgan was the only dog stalker, and maybe Dimitri, depending on what game you played, not gonna name no games, but at least they got some camera time. But now you only add Jetta. Jetta's like probably the only character they sat there and like, oh, we gotta build him from scratch. The community's gonna be pissed off. You damn right. We waiting on a good fighting game character. There we go. All right, dark side. But I feel that, and like I said, maybe I'm ready. Maybe y'all can stop me anytime. There we go. Maybe I feel that. Um, shit. I lost my train of thought because I'm so angry. Oh wow, the shade change. I wish I would recorded that. Maybe it'll come on the next video. Maybe it'll come on the transition. Oh, Catwoman was last scared. I should have just stopped. Pre-recorded right there. I'm tripping. This is my first take. Though. First video take. But I feel that... Begin. If I can ramble about Marvel's Capcom Infinite all day, I would. Like, I was afraid to try to guess me, baby, because of the shit that went on with The first Destiny, like, I ain't got the internet service yet. Cause if I did, boy, I tell you. I'll play Destiny 2 if I play the Marvel's Cup home later. And, oh, Count won't give me his hands. She's dropping his hands. But I feel like she can play more ferocious than Count. And I'm still gonna say that to this day. Uh, Catwoman has more. Catwoman has space, like one of my with the whip. But I feel like they should have given her her own set. I, I mean, they gave it to her, but it, it just doesn't feel right. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me in the corner getting my ass beat, but I can't remember level 10 or level 7. But even Planet's Catwoman, her events, I was like, 
maybe I'm just tripping. There we go, Trustees. Should have kept it going, but I don't want to waste no meter because I'm not going to get Shit. Keep your stinking paws off me. There we go. Oh, she cleared. How much meter does she have? I'm about to say, yeah, we should tie. Let her hit me so I can reset with uh, Dexter. I'm not gonna lie, Catwoman with these grabs is pretty ferocious. I like that. There we go. Shady, give me the shield. Catwoman and Catwoman is corner heavy. Wins. But yeah, like even though this is the first two run throughs, thank y'all for watching. And I appreciate y'all. Click like and subscribe. I'm trying to do this every event. This is just part one of Atrocitus and Rantor Multiverse 1927 X Productions out.